Shame. Hello, welcome to another Wake and Bake with Kevin Andy, the only show that takes you into Loot Crate Kitchen and lets you get Randy. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Yeah, it sounds like we're going to teach you how to have kitchen sex. That's not what we're going to do. No. Instead, we teach you how to make food. Easy to make dishes, man. If you're the type of person like myself, stumbles out of bed, gets centered, and then wants to have something to eat that doesn't come out of bag, Andy here teaches us how to make fun food. Normally, that's been the premise of the show. But things are about to flip, man. The world is going to turn upside down. We're through the looking glass here, Andrew. Up is down, black is white. You're absolutely straight, man, because this is what's going on today. Normally, he is the guy that teaches everything. Today, I'm going to teach Andy how to make one of my favorite dishes in the world, pork roll, egg, and cheese. traditional New Jersey breakfast. It's kind of like head cheese, but put through a blender, and then they kind of have a starter culture that kind of uh, leavens it a little bit, and it's kind of weird. Pork roll is kind of like, it's kind of like bologna, but you got to cook it, and it's thicker than bologna. It's mm -hmm. not like bologna at all. Here's the list of ingredients that you can find in your house, or you might have to go out and find these. Pork roll. Egg. Helps that bread. So you take your pork roll. I'm gonna need some eggs. Why don't you whip up some eggs? I'll, look at, I'll whip up the eggs. Scrambled We're just gonna make eggs. Scrambled eggs. We'll talk about the theory of scrambled eggs as you tell us the special preparation that goes into those puppies. Basically, you throw the pork roll right onto the, the grill here. Mm -hmm. The beauty of pork roll is not only is it edible, but it's also fun to watch cook. It's one of nature's funnest foods to cook because what'll happen is you're slowly gonna watch these little pieces of pork roll blister up and that wow, it's amazing you could, it's like sea monkeys you know you throw sea monkeys in the bowl and they're like mm. life from lifelessness <laughs> that's kind of what pork roll is see this look he's coming There's, alive is there any way to stop it from cupping too much yeah you're supposed to use a knife and then you cut it but that's the sissy way to do it you gotta let it boil to a big zit and then you pop it because the what? grease goes everywhere see how they're blistering up that's fucking fun to cook. They're little hats now. You could cook this with a kid. Like, like, you know how kids are always like, you know, most kids are into their, their phones and playing games and stuff. But you could take a kid, even the most jaded millennial, and show them this. So like, this food bubbles up. Like, that's amazing. No? Am I overselling that's, it? I, I don't know. They kind of look like very non-kosher yarmulkes. <laughs> a meat yarmulke? Yeah. That's hot. I Watch know. this. This is one of the best parts of flattening it, because the smell comes out. Watch. Nice milk. Yeah. I'm gonna do it close to my face. Oh, God, I love that sound. I love that smell. Okay. I feel like I'm six. Oh. I don't know what part of the pig goes into pork roll, and I don't want to know. It could be the lips, could be the asshole, could be the knee, the knee marrow. I don't care, because it is taste. <laughs> So for the scrambled eggs, I am uh, melting the butter, and I put a little salt into the eggs, and a little milk. Yeah. And I'll start to whip those, and what you really want to do is get some air in there so that they come out nice and fluffy, okay? I think it sound like it's hard. I'm doing all the cooking here, man. I got all the pork roll happening and stuff. Okay. You're just making eggs. So now, you put a little cut in it, Andy, and it starts to look like Pac-Man. Okay. See, it's fun. Everything about pork roll is fun, except if you're a pig. How are the eggs cooking? They look like they're pretty done. They're All right, so what I'm going to do is take some of this cheese, pop it on top of this bad boy each. And normally, with a pork roll egg and cheese, you put it in a Kaiser roll, but we're on the West Coast, and they're like, Kaiser roll, what's that? So essentially, we got a sesame seed bun, which will do. Bread's bread. Don't be a bread douche. I'm going to take one layer of pork roll egg and cheese, put it like that. You know how to live. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Then I'm going to take... You know how to live a short life. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to take Maybe that. A little bit more egg. Go ahead. Stand by. And it's all in. And then I'm going to put this piece of pork roll with cheese on top of it. Mm -hmm. Turning this thing off. Then you get that delicious bready cheese. It's going to stick, over. right? Yeah. Look, there's a little free cheese I got from the stove, a little extra mm -hmm. and shit. In other words, my cheese. That's right. <laughs> and that, my friend, this is New Jersey right there. If you've ever wondered what New Jersey tastes like, and you're like, probably garbage and herpes, no. <laughs> it tastes like a pork roll, egg, and cheese sandwich. Okay. You well, taste that and you tell me. I'll right, hold the plate. You got so the plate? You, you need two hands. Get two hands on it. Okay. This ain't one of these bad boys. Two hands. Right? 
right? Mm. That's justice right there. That's mouth mm. justice. If your mouth was watering for justice, you've just filled it with New Jersey mouth justice. Uh, and I can tell that you don't wash your hands. Not at all. You can taste a little bit of me. A little bit of you should always go into the cooking, my grandmother would say. It's fantastic, right? I'm gonna that eat from the other side. So you won't wash your hands, but you won't take a bite from where I bit it? <laughs> you went one side, I bit the other side. We're like fucking laying we'll in the middle. Uh, this is the night. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> What's even sadder is I closed my eyes and got into it. I you know. wouldn't even commit. Wow, that is quite delicious. Mm. I think I can go you one better. How? That's with the maple bar pork roll egg and cheese. Is that why you stuck that maple bar in the drawer? Yes, it is. I thought you were just hiding food. I'm like, oh my god, he must be poor. Let's get some egg on here. What kind of dick are you, man? I make you a good sandwich and you're like, yeah, this would be better. And you're right. <laughs> It's not a competition, Kevin. It's an exhibition. Not to you. Lift it up, man. Here we go. The egg is on. Spread those eggs around. And then you carefully place. Look at that beautiful placement. Mmm. Mmm. This could be. This might be a good idea. Well, don't. I don't want you. If I'm eating it, I don't want you touching it. Yeah, Your version is better. Well, you know, I think that they're both equally great, except that mine is better. Mm. Mm. Let me give it a try. Mm. Mm. Oh, my lord. Mm. Oh. That is a better version of a New Jersey classic. Now in Jersey, they're cursing us, going like, oh, fucking keep it pure, you fucking Hollywood sell out that piece of shit, went to Hollywood, start cooking with maple bars. They always say that stuff. Yeah, they do, they've been saying that for a while. Hey man, did you like that? Yes. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to them. If you like it, please press like, the click like, give us a like, man. If you like this whole idea, subscribe to the channel, man, and keep looking for us here and way more interesting stuff than us at youtube.com slash loot crate, man. Uh, for Wake and Bake with Kevin and Andy, I'm Kevin Smith. And I'm Andy McKelvey. A bong appetite. <laughs> I think that's how you do it.